Hi everyone and welcome to another Hammond Collection review here on Jurassic Collectibles. The Lost World is a popular film and what's better than one The Lost World dinosaur? Two of them. That's right, in this video we are looking at the Juvenile Stegosaurus and Juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex from the most recent wave of the Hammond Collection. You can see both figures together here. We're going to start with the lovely Stegosaurus, as you can see in the packaging here. The usual Hammond Collection packaging we've come to know and love, with the JP 30th Anniversary logo in the top corner there to mark this celebration year. We do have this rather lovely render of the Stegosaurus on the side, as well as the Lost World logo. The back of the packaging where we have a statement that says Stegosaurus in the search of the perfect photo, Dr. Sarah Harding bonds with a young Stegosaurus. But a noisy camera proves that these dinosaurs are far more than big iguanas. Awesome looking back at the packaging there. And then the Hammond Collection logo on the other side. This is one I've been looking forward to. I would love, love, love an adult Stegosaurus in the Hammond Collection line. Um, but for now, it's cool to get a juvenile in the collection. And here we can see how the figure comes packaged. We will just remove this plastic tag, get this figure out of the packaging. And I have to say, the first thing that's standing out to me uh, before we even get it assembled here is the paint apps on the spikes. They look particularly cool. So let's just get the tail in the right way. Oh, we might have a problem here. Let's give that a try. There we go. So the socket for the tail was in at an angle, but luckily I was still able to get it in. Okay, and there we have the Stego. Interesting. It's quite weird having a smaller uh, herbivore as a part of the Hammond collection. But there we go. There's a closer look at it. You can see that right off the bat this front leg is very loose unfortunately. But beyond that, it isn't a bad figure. If you were to play with it a little bit, I think you could get a really cool walking pose out of it. You can see right off the bat if we bring the Legacy Collection Juvenile Stegosaurus in, they are pretty much identical size-wise, which makes sense. The tail on this one is one long piece, whereas this one has got two articulation points. And again, the same with the neck as well. We'll move this one out of the way now. Take a closer look at this stego. And you can see there's a lot of texture work on there for the body. Really like all of the wrinkles there, the sort of pebbling of the skin. The underbelly paint I think is nice. I'm not sure I quite like how much it fades into the stomach here. This leg may be a potential problem in the making. Um, there we go. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks okay, you know? We can get the head up, we can get the neck down at a decent angle. You can see there the paintwork on the sort of spikes, which is what I was talking about. It looks quite cool. Would be even better if it was on the inside as well. But for all what it is, it's decent. The tail there with the little spikes on the phagomizer at the end. Got a cool little articulation joint in that so you could sort of get a defensive posture with this figure if you really wanted. Decent articulation, legs in and out, ball joint here, ball joints at the ankles, not going to play around with them too much on camera. And then the same level of articulation. No feet articulation on the front legs, just the sort of joints there. But you can see that's more than enough to get some good poses. That right there is a pretty perfect pose. And the addition with the Hammond collection, as well as having the nice face paint just there, we do have the mouth that can open. And it's actually easier to open than some of the other herbivores. That's a nice surprise. So you can see there, we can have the mouth open of this figure, make it look like it's letting a little bellow out. And that is very cool. All in all, I'm quite happy with the Stegosaurus. I wish I didn't have a loose leg joint, but quality control continues to be an issue. Mattel, please look into quality control. It feels like every wave with the Hammond collection, there is something, unfortunately. Um, but beyond that issue, really nice figure. 
Really hope we get an adult to go with it down the line and some of the Lost World human characters. But for now, Stegosaurus Juvenile is awesome. And let's zoom ourselves back out as we bring in our next item. Doing a review on the fly here. We have got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one coming with both the leg brace and the muzzle for around the mouth. But not the cage, which is interesting, or the head cage. And the sort of capture gear for the head, which the Legacy Collection version had. We have the Hammond Collection on the side. The back, which says, After the infant Tyrannosaurus Rex is rescued and treated for injuries on Isla Sauna, the dangerous reality is that with offspring that young, parents won't leave it along for too, alone for too long. And then a photo of it from the film just there. I look at it on the side where I have to say it really does look like the animatronic. Um, and of course that lovely The Lost World logo. So, really, really cool to get this one again. Um, I, I actually, I've seen some criticism online of this one, people saying it's not perfect. I have to admit I quite like the stylized look of this one. Uh, you can see there, I think they've got the colour scheme pretty perfect. Um, so I have been looking forward to getting this one in hand. Um, and just having a Juvenile Rex to play around with, really. So there we go. So, let's take a closer look at the Rex. Now the socket on this one is perfect. Joints again feel a little bit loose, unfortunately. Um, more of an issue with a figure that's a theropod because it has less weight distribution. Have I got the right arms on there? I have. Can we get this neck joint up? We can. Okay, so out of the packaging, we will zoom ourselves in. It's decent. We're, we're working with a decent figure here. So you can see the accessories we get are the sort of leg uh, cast, the leg bandage. And it looks like to put it around the leg, we just attach it around the back like so and clip it around, which is a good way to do that. I like that. Um, and then also the muzzle just here with some decent texture work on it, pretty decent stuff. All in all, you've got the belt buckle, which is perfect. So that is quite cool. Um, now, if we take a look at the actual figure itself, I really like the colour scheme, first of all. I think the choice of green on this is perfect. I think the stripes look really good. I like the underbelly paint that's there because it merges really, really nicely. Uh, it's a shame that the fingernails aren't painted, but we do get painted toe claws at least. We have the little sort of red highlight under the jaw. That crest just there. You can see that really does look like the baby T-Rex actually. They've done a really nice job with that. Bringing it around to the other side. Really good pupil work there. We can get a decent little biting motion out of it. I have to admit, all in all, that is pretty perfect. Um, yeah, sure, it's not 1-1 one, one for the actual dinosaur as we see it, but I'm pretty happy with this aesthetically. I mean, when you compare it to the original Legacy Collection release, this one feels so much more nimbler, the head sculpt feels so much more accurate. Um, you can see if I bring this one in and just compare it, the difference there is pretty noticeable, I think. You've got the shallower crest here that looks really, really nice. Um, and then articulation-wise, the tail is on the usual joint, so you can get a little bit of motion out of it. Mine feels a bit stiff this time around. Um, but you do have the bendable tail. The legs go in and out. You've got the joints here and here at two points, as we expect. And then additional joints on the ankles. The neck lets you get some cool sort of smelling poses looking down poses, looking to the side, as you'd expect. And then we get a little bit of articulation in the arms as well there. It does look like on this one, yeah, I have the wrong arm piece on here. Or, there we go, I have it round the wrong way. <laughs> uh, which, yeah, there we go really. That is the Juvenile Rex in a nutshell. I have to admit, the head sculpt on this one, like I've already said, but just getting it back in focus, that pupil there... Is there a bit of white paint on that? There is. It really pops. I couldn't tell if that was just the light from my studio lights, but no. I actually really like this one, guys. 
And the all important test as well is we do have this from the Legacy Collection. If it wants to focus. There we go. I did want to see if we can fit the head in here. And while you can, it is not at all secure. I wonder, can we open the drawer at all to sort of leverage it on? Let's give that a try. Let's see. Is it? Yeah, do you know what? It does work better like that. That is kind of, it's fallen off again, but it was held on a little bit more in place. So at least there's ways to use that, even if it's not included in this set, unfortunately. Um, and obviously we do want to try the muzzle and the leg brace. So I'm just gonna check which leg it goes on. So it is the closest one here, and it's the lower portion of the leg just here. So let's open that up, wrap it around. That is a good fit, it's not too tight, you can get it around. He says, have I spoken too soon? Maybe I've spoken too soon. <laughs> Let's give it a go. It's always a challenge doing these kinds of things on camera and I've hurt my thumbnail as well, so not particularly great. I think if I could work that in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Cool, so we've got the brace on. You can see that just there, it fits well. And we can put the muzzle on, presumably just like that, yep. And that works pretty well as well. So, bringing the Stegosaurus back in guys. That has been a closer look at the latest duo of dinosaurs from the Legacy Collection. Awesome, or not the Legacy Collection, the Hammond Collection. <laughs> um, it's awesome to get a pair of the Lost World inspired figures. I'd be really curious to know what you guys think of this assortment in the comments down below. As always, make sure to like, favourite and subscribe. And until the next video, take care and have a great week.